Pirate football is officially back as the Mike Houston era begins in Greenville. Welcome back to Down on Your Side, everyone. I'm Nolan Knight, and we start tonight with none other than some East Carolina football. The Pirates enter 2019 with a clean slate. Last year in the rearview mirror, and all focus on the new season under a new head coach. Let's head out to Carter Finley Stadium. The Pirates taking on the Wolfpack. Mike Houston and Dave Dorn, of course, meeting before the game, and this one started great for ECU. They received the opening kickoff and drove right down the field. They would bring it with inside the 10 yard line, but on this play, much hope would be lost. Colton Naylor's coughs up the football and it's recovered by the pack in the end zone. NC State would then drive it 80 yards down the field and cap off their drive with a Zonovan Knight touchdown run to take a 7-0 lead. The Pirates would respond with this kick from Jake Verde to stay in the game 7-3, but State would take a 17-2-3 lead into halftime. In the second, it was all Wolfpack Matthew McKay to Tabari Hines, who waltzes into the end zone for a 48-yard strike. And then McKay shows off why he was named the starter quarterback. Check out this play, 21 yards from the quarterback to give State a 31-3 lead. ECU, they had their moments in this one, but they fall on the road to the Wolfpack by a final of 34-6. Here's Sports Director Brian Bailey with more from Raleigh. It's another long day for East Carolina in Raleigh. North Carolina State 34, East Carolina 6. The complexion of the game changed early. With their first possession, the Pirates drove 75 yards in 12 plays, but they fumbled at the goal line. And that's as close as East Carolina would come to the end zone all day. You know, obviously that was uh, critical for us. Opening drive, we came out and uh, uh, had, a, had a great drive, moved the ball down the field, obviously right on the goal line going in, and we got to control the ball all the way through the end zone. You know, you don't, they don't give any ribbons for, you know, coming close. So uh, that was a, you know, was a big play in the ball game because that completely changed the, the outlook of the first half. Uh, anytime I mean, you can score right off the bat, I mean, that's big. So I um, just got to learn from it, get better from it, and, um, you know what I mean, get ready for next week. I'm glad we got that takeaway down on the goal line. That was awesome that our defense did that and, and um, offense responded driving down the field on that one. Another difference in the game, the Pirates failed to run the football. East Carolina didn't crack the 40-yard mark, while North Carolina State racked up almost 200 yards on the ground. Next up for East Carolina, of course, Gardner-Webb in the home opener next week. From Carter-Finley Stadium, I'm Brian Bailey. Not on your side, sports.